Hello guys, welcome back to another Horror Saturday. I am actually filming this like a while back uh, in the sense of when you're watching this because I'm filming these in advance of Insidious 5 and of course we are going to start with Insidious 1. I actually watched Insidious 1 last night and I gotta say, wow. It was one of the scariest films I've ever seen in my life. I'm just going to say that right away. It was insane. It was different to something I've seen before. Um, obviously wanted to broaden my horror and all that nowadays and try and get into different jo this genre especially because uh, this is a genre that I've never seen um, many films uh, in. So... Insidious, what do I think of it? Directed by James Wan. Now, James Wan, for me, I, I know the name, Malignant. Um, we've got you know, The Conjuring, uh, obviously Insidious, Conjuring 2, Saw as well. Like, he has done a lot of the big horror films. Insidious 1, Insidious 2, Conjuring 1, Conjuring 2, Saw 1, uh, Malignant. Um, yeah, he's done quite a big. And he's also done Aquaman 1 and 2, which is out there. Anyways, he's done some big horror movies, and I know that. I have actually seen The Conjuring. I really like The Conjuring. I definitely want to do The Conjuring universe of movies and watch them. But I'm going to start with Insidious. So, so what do I think of the film? Where do I sit with it? Well, firstly, the cast. I didn't expect it to be such a good, good cast. Rosie Byrne was in the film starring as Renee Lambert. Now, she was like the wife. And then we had Patrick Wilson, who was also in the Conjuring movies, um, as Josh Lambert. Now, they were great. I thought they were fab. Rosie Byrne was brill. I really like her in um, things like Neighbours and all that. And there's a TV series on Apple Plus. Can't really remember what it's called now, but she was good in that as well. I really like her as an actress. I think she's really, really good. She's got some really good depth to her. And this film did, did show that for me. It's the first time I've seen her in something that's not like a comedy. It shows her, her real skill. But this film is all about basically this boy that basically goes up the attic. His name's Dalton. And he, he trips on a ladder and the ladder breaks and he falls, bangs his head. And then he goes unconscious. Or at least that's what the parents think. Um, we know the audience that like he saw something and then was like asleep so he was at the attic he saw something it kind of like knocked him out in a way and then he was in a coma for ages and um yeah you know that was it basically they were obviously really sad that the son was how he was and then things started to be coming up in the house like on the baby monitor um little boy running around tap dancing um loads of little creepy things happening and and it was really good it was really enticing um it was um i was hooked to the entire film perfect run length as well hour and 40 minutes um i was really hooked and um you know at the very end of the film there was a massive like shock in my opinion um i will say spoilers because you know this has been out a long time now um but basically the dalton was missing so they found dalton got him back to his body and all that type of thing and the father had some trauma when he was a kid and then like this woman was possessing him we were led to believe that the woman left him but the woman actually was still possessing him and if anything became him was entirely him and um yeah it does it just ends then and obviously sets up to the second one and stuff so really excited to to give that a watch because yeah it was um pretty freaky uh, to watch that i'm not gonna lie um, and I'm really looking forward to just watching this entire thing now. We obviously do get the new one coming out soon, which is Insidious 5. So that's coming out in July. So these are going to come out every other week now. And then we'll have them all out in, in run up to the new movie, of course. But so far, so good. The first one's great. Definitely going to get on the second one pretty soon. Um, it was pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. The first one. Um, yeah, so looking forward to watching these um, all in all. There was many jumpy moments in these films for me. Um, it's, I think the one that really got me was when, like, it was just like this woman in a bride's dress, I think. She just walked, opened the door and walked up the stairs. That was that was terrifying. There was also, like, these three um, people, like this man who was just, like, coughing or clicking or whatever. But, you know, it's one of those things. It's uh, it's fine. But, um, yeah, really good nonetheless. Really enjoyed it. It was fun. It was exciting. Um, I was at the edge of my seat, basically. And um, really enjoyed it. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, it was, it was really good. And, like I say, I'm excited to get into the number two, three, four. And, of course, then go to see number five in the cinema. So, but ranking the movie then, I actually gave it a three and a half star, as I say. 
Um, I thought it was good. I really enjoyed it. Three and a half star for me, I think, is a real good start score. And, um, you know, it was fair. I, it wasn't as good as Kundrin. I gave Kundrin a four. So, for me, it's not, it's not as good as Kundrin from what I remember. Um, but I did enjoy it um, nonetheless. So, three and a half star for me uh, is a fair score. Let me know your thoughts, though, on Insidious 1. Have you seen it? Are you going to see uh, the new Insidious movie when it comes out in a couple of weeks? Let me know your thoughts down below. And, um, yeah, any tips, of course, for any more movies on Horror Saturday. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned more and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.